Non, non, laisse, laisse. Mais maman, si tu souffres... Je veux sentir ma douleur. Appelle Sophie. Oui, Robert, comment ça va Désolée de te déranger, tu veux occuper Non, non, t'inquiète pas, tu me déranges pas du tout, dis-moi. Ça se passe bien Elle te demande. Je crois qu'elle n'en a plus pour très longtemps. Bon, j'arrive. La douleur ne vous ment jamais. Et la mort non plus. C'est pour ça que ce sont mes seuls amis. Bonjour Sophie. Bonsoir Cécile. Jusqu'à maintenant, tu m'as toujours dit ce qui allait m'arriver. C'est tout ce que je sais. Mais moi, je crois que tu vas aller dans un endroit magnifique avec un dieu sublime et très aimant. C'est toi qui nous raconteras la suite, maman. Je t'aime, mon amour, chérie. Et moi, je t'aime tant, maman. Hi, Michael. It's Linda from Manhattan Realty. Congratulations on selling the apartment. Sorry we couldn't get your asking price, but selling any two-bedroom on the Upper West Side in this market is a victory. You should feel great. Good luck in your new place. Can you spare some change, please, sir? Sorry, bro. Yeah, I bet you are. It's Christmas time, and you can't spare not even a quarter, right? I'm six hundred thousand dollars in debt. Damn. You want some ticket rice? No thanks. Excuse me. I'm so sorry to bother you, but um, are you Michael Shiver? Yeah. Oh my God. I love. I must have read it like 10 times my senior year in high school. Why haven't you written another book since? I did. Two, actually. 
Oh. Okay. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I gotta, I gotta go. So. Okay. Thank you. Did they wind up together in the end? It's so ambiguous. It always killed me. What do you think? I think they did. Then I guess they did. How is your new manuscript selling, by the way? It's not. It's not. Publishers are not interested. There's still a couple more we're out to, but I'm just, I'm just over it. OK, I'm done. If this book doesn't sell. I refuse to write the kinds of books that the kinds of people who buy books want to read. You know what you should do? Oh my god, I'm a genius. What? Come to Paris. I have a nice apartment in Montmartre. Just come. You'll get a new perspective. I don't know. I haven't been back to Paris since Sarah and I broke up. Oh, I mean, it's high time you're just trying to steal the demons. For God's sakes, man. That was, what, 15 years ago? You'll be fine. You're in a flank. OK, Mike, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go. Come to Paris, OK? Just come. God's presence has always been undeniable in my life. It's my presence that has often been suspect. Elle est dans ma chambre en scène. D'accord, super. Merci. Désolée, j'ai dû me tromper de chambre. Je cherche euh, Madame Bourgeron. L'infirmière m'a dit qu'elle était ici, mais... Plus pour longtemps.
Tu peux m'asseoir avec toi un petit peu Les parents ne savent pas comment te prendre. Ils doivent penser que vous auriez aimé qu'eux. Ils ont raison. Comment prendre quoi Votre fille de 13 ans qui va mourir. Je sais pas, j'ai pas de fille de 13 ans. Pourquoi tu es là Je suis là pour... Euh... Pour t'aider à te sentir le mieux possible face à la mort. C'est le truc le plus débile que j'ai jamais entendu. C'est assez débile. Tu peux la refaire T'as des frères et sœurs Moi j'aurais bien aimé. Tu es un chien, c'est déjà pas mal. J'ai un petit frère. Pour moi, ceux qui comptent le plus au monde. Comment il s'appelle On pourrait lui dire de venir si tu veux. Non. Il se mettra à pleurer, ça me tuerait, c'est sûr. Tu souffres Tu veux un peu de morphine Fraise Fraise Stop, j'ai dit fraise Fraise veut dire stop J'ai pas entendu, la prochaine fois parle plus fort. He invited me and I figured I'd surprise you guys. Oh, he was depressed, so I told him to come over. He stayed in my father's studio. How oh, great. You can keep him company on the nights I kick him out of the house. <laughs> Just kidding. How oh, great <laughs> to see you. It's great oh. to see you. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. This place is amazing. Yeah. My father bought it in the 40s. He used it as a kind of an office. I'm glad you came. I think it's going to be really good for you. I hope so. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. So, you have a little shop down there for fruits? And water. Okay. Sacre car is just up there. Yeah. And La Marcolenco will be your metro. You remember? It doesn't matter. Paris is the only place you can be lost and found at the same time. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, Charles. I really appreciate it. It's great to see you. It's a pleasure, buddy. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Have fun. Okay. You take care. Okay.
Tu et de matin au soir, vous êtes toute ma vie, chérie. Rambo de je suis, je t'aime pour toute ma oh. vie. Vous avez perdu votre bague. Oh, oh it's, not, it's not mine. Oui, si, si, c'est à vous. Bonne chance. No, but I didn't drop it. God wants you to have it, you know. It's your lucky day. Welcome to Paris. <laughs> you know, I had to ask, but do you have a few euros so I can get something to eat? Yeah, yeah, sure. You're very kind, huh? You got to pick the right man to grace. Take this, but also take the ring. Take no, the ring. No, you can, no, you, you can sell it. No, take it. That was meant for you. It was at your feet. It's, it's a lady's ring anyway. Well, then give it to a lady. I wish I had one to give it to. You will have one soon now. You're strict. How do you say you're strict in French? You're strict. Votre sure. monnaie. Yes. You're you're hard. You're like you know you're strict with a little doggy. Et vous êtes mal poli. C'est impressionnant quoi. Ces Américains ils sont pas foutus de vous dire bonjour avant de vous parler. Is that how you are when you have a boyfriend? Like when you're in love? Like with a with a with a boyfriend? You strict? You discipline him hard like that? Tu me fais quoi là? Tu me fais le mime Marceau, c'est ça? Tu crois que ça va m'aider à comprendre ce que tu me dis dans ta langue de ploc? I don't know what you're saying to me, but I could watch you say it forever. Okay. Ben, merci beaucoup. Bon courage avec lui. Hein. J'espère qu'il va pas se mettre à faire des claquettes. <laughs> Allez, viens, on y va. C'est de la chance, il pleut pas et il a pas de parapluie. Wait. <laughs> on y va. Wait. Bon, ça, bon, ça. Ma'am. Ma so, how much are those oranges? Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Très bien. Surprise. Bah non mais tu peux pas débarquer comme ça, moi je dois aller bosser là. Ça va, tu peux arriver en retard un matin. Je t'emmène petit déjeuner. Merci. Toi aussi On s'est vu que deux fois. Je suis pas aussi, euh, pas aussi facile que toutes tes petites bêtasses là qui, euh, qui donnent n'importe quoi pour se taper un mec connu. <rire> Fais-moi la cour un peu. Non mais j'aime pas ça, moi. Faire la cour. Mais tu vas faire quoi si tu insistes <rire> Tu vas appeler au viol J'aimerais bien voir ça, tiens. Hein oui. Arrête. Allez. Arrête, putain Allez, bon. Arrête, putain Ah 
Hein? Parce que t'es célèbre et que t'es une belle gueule, tu crois que tu peux faire ce que tu veux hein? bah, T'es mal tombé cette fois, mon chien. Tu vas où, là Qu'est-ce que tu fais Non, 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 putain, t'arrêtes tout de suite tes conneries, là Chut. Oh Chut Aïe, putain, t'arrêtes, mais t'es malade Je crois que ça va te faire du bien, un peu, de savoir ce que ça fait quand on abuse de toi, tu crois pas Quoi Hein Je viens maintenant Non, 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 c'est bon, ça T'es un homme taré Arrête Arrête Est-ce que tu non. mérites que je sois gentille Oui, 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 je mérite, oui ah, Ok, je vais être gentille. Je vais te laisser cracher dessus. Mais t'es complètement malade, ma pauvre fille Ok. Enfin, Qu'est-ce que tu fais là Non, 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 mais c'est bon, c'est bon, c'est bon, ça va Non, ok, d'accord, ok, putain, d'accord <rire> Tiens. <rire> Encore un peu <rire> C'est bien. Non, 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 non ah Salut, à la semaine prochaine. Ouais, salut. Et défends-toi plus un peu, hein, la semaine prochaine, c'était chiant, là. Promis. Salut. apporter quelque chose. Je pense que ça va te plaire. Tu m'as pris pour qui Fred Astaire Non, mais je me suis dit que... que peut-être tu préférerais ça au foulard. Je t'ai dit, tu n'arrives pas à gérer, ils ne viennent jamais. J'ai plus beaucoup de noms, alors tu serais gentil de ne pas me les faire répéter. Je suis désolée, je ne le ferai plus. Fille-moi un verre d'eau. Alors t'es là pourquoi Ah ouais. Pour m'aider à accepter l'idée que je vais mourir 70 ans trop tôt C'est quoi ton problème Je suis sans seul Non. T'as un mari Non. Un copain Non. Oh, maman Non. Et toi C'est déjà assez dur d'accrocher un mec en quatrième quand t'as la tête de Katy Perry. Mais alors quand t'es chauve et le scénique Et toi C'est quoi ton excuse Tu parles anglais Downstairs. Entrez I'm, I'm so sorry I'm late. It's polite to say hello when you first see someone. Oh, excuse me. Hello. I'm Michael. Hello, Michael. I'm Natalie. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Big fancy American writer. 
You don't look very fancy now, do you? You look puny and small. You pathetic. You're lucky I would pay any attention to you at all. Even to use you for my enjoyment. No money. No career. No woman. You used to be beloved, didn't you? But no one cares about your books anymore. Your time has passed. I want to read some fresh young authors, not deluded, self-obsessed narcissists. There's a big difference between you thinking your life is interesting and anyone else thinking it is. <laughs> and let me assure you, no one does. Merci, Michael. How far would you go? What do you mean? Like hurting somebody. I will never injure someone forever. I wouldn't cut their balls off, if that's what you mean. Only pain, but it goes away. Go for a day or so. Are there dominatrixes that would go farther? Of course. Like, kill someone? No, of course not. That's not BDSM, that's murder. So you never heard of anyone like that? I heard of one crazy girl who would do this. I don't know if it's true. Really? Wow. Yeah. Hi, Michael, it's Charles. Hope you're comfortable. Caroline and the kids want to make sure you're coming for Christmas. No excuses. See you then. End of new messages. To listen to your messages, press 1. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really late. Do you mind if I um, take the bike? Please. You, know, you didn't... I don't know if you remember, we, we met last night in this little bodega, that was an orange store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. But then you had the little dog and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you didn't... You didn't... I don't... I'm not, I was jet lagged, I don't know, but I don't remember you really speaking English at all. Certainly not this well, did you? Did you? Okay, so what do you want to do with the bike? I'll give you a ride. Let's get in the basket, I'll give you a lift. So what's your name? I'm Michael. Why don't we cancel our plans and just go have dinner? What do you say? Come on, that's the fun of being big. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, but we have to deal with the consequences. Oh, come on. If your friends are good friends, you're going to be more excited about this great story of our first date than pissed off that you canceled at the last minute. I mean, who cares? How do you know I'm meeting friends? What, are you meeting your boyfriend? Why would I tell you? You're a stranger. Yeah, well, you're riding the basket of your bicycle like fucking Julie Andrews and Sound of Music or some shit. You don't have a boyfriend. Why not? Because you're smiling. Just a little, but you're smiling. I don't think so. Yes, you are. Grimacing a bit, baby. I don't think so. OK. So, walk two blocks that way. Two blocks up there? Yeah, and you'll find your street. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your number? Let me uh -huh. call you. No, come on, let me call uh -huh. you. Come on, it's hard to meet people you like. Yeah, exactly. Come on. What's your number? T'es bientôt prêt, mon chéri? J'ai réservé une table dans ton restaurant préféré. T'as bien travaillé aujourd'hui? 
Ta petite femme, elle a bien travaillé. J'ai décroché un compte à 20 millions d'euros. Bon, je sais que c'est rien, en comparaison de toi, gagne qui fait de moi, mais ça me fait tellement mouiller quand je peux participer, même un tout petit peu. Hein, ça te fait plaisir que j'essaye. Ça me gênait ton truc débile là. Pourquoi t'as mis ce truc débile dans ta bouche Hein Pourquoi tu me réponds pas Ça te fait mal quand je fais ça T'es vraiment qu'une petite merde. Tu sais pas m'apprécier. Mon intelligence, ma force. Tout ce que tu veux c'est quoi C'est une, une petite femme qui t'attend à la maison une fille que tu puisses trimballer avec des fleurs dans les cheveux, dans tout Paris, dans le panier de ta bicyclette. C'est ça que tu veux, hein Le dîner servi qui t'attend quand tu rentres à la maison, c'est ça que tu veux Moi aussi, je crois que c'est ça que tu veux. Mais monsieur... Bah, vos désirs font sous les ordres, monsieur. Spécialité. Bon appétit. Apparemment, c'est très déstabilisant d'être un homme ces temps-ci. On dirait que les femmes sont les nouveaux hommes. Et tout ce qui reste aux hommes, c'est d'être les nouvelles femmes. I think it's absolutely adorable that you have a little crush on me. But I think at this point, I mean, you should just summon the courage to ask me out on a proper date. Come on. Stalking me? It's really not cool. How do you say stalking me is really not cool in French? What's headstand called in Sanskrit? Can, can I just, this is the only space. Can I, do you mind? Is there room here? I'll just grab my space. I mean, I can talk to you about that. <coughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? What's headstand called in Sanskrit? Why? Because I want to know if you come to yoga to pick up girls or to practice yoga. Well, yoga means union with God, right? I don't think there's any greater closeness between man and his creator than the love between a man and a woman. So I come to yoga to practice yoga whether I meet a woman or not. Gotcha. And Shirsasana is my favorite position. You? I hate it. I don't like being upside down. Really? Oh, that's funny. It's the place where I feel like things make the most sense. Listen, just so my entire concentration isn't completely distracted every other breath throughout class wondering whether you're ever going to go out with me, I'm just going to ask once again right before class starts. Is that a yes? No. Oh, come on. Really? Maybe. Well, what's the determining factor going to be? How good your headstand is. What's the verdict? A walk. Like a pre-date determining walk or a walk that's a date? A walk that's a walk. I like to know what things are. There's no such thing as a date in France anyway. You know, we don't label things. We just spend time together and see what happens. <laughs> Man, that is such bullshit. Yeah, you're a woman, so I don't give a fuck where you're from. That means you have expectations, and you have rules, and you have an agenda. Okay, to say that you don't is a game at best, and a lie at worst. You're so American. Really? Okay, well, if American means straightforward and honest, then sure, I'm American. I know it's hard for you Americans to understand, but sometimes you don't get what you want, do you? Rarely. 
but you rarely don't get what you want. Yeah. So even though you usually get what you want, when you don't, you're able to accept it with grace. You think? Well, you're not getting a definition for the walk, and you seem to be doing pretty well with the uncertainty. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just because I'm used to it with you now. So it's just become kind of maddeningly lovely. Oh, the other time was when I wouldn't confirm or deny if I would go out on a date with you before yoga started? Exactly. You know me so well, all the mystery's gone. Well, thank God for that, at least. So no private information? No, sure, you can have private information, just not if it concerns thinking I'm cool. Or not, apparently, in your case. No, no, you're cool. Well, thank you. So are you. Thanks. So listen, can we upgrade this walk that's a walk to a walk that's a date now, please? No. Oh, come on, why not? Because you're not that cool. Depending on the day, that would gut me. Oh. And on this day? Pinprick. Yeah, because you know, I just came from yoga, so I'm free from all attachments. Well, good, I'll sleep easier knowing. So much so? That I'm even willing to do your whole in France, we don't date, we just hang out and see what happens then? What's your number? Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Hey, come on, what's your number? Hey, hey! There's something I'm gonna tell you one day that I thought when I first saw you. I don't think so. You'll see. I lied. It was always devastating, always a crucifixion. What women will never understand is the weight of having to be the constant pursuer and the pain of every death when it's a no. Josh, bad news, man. We got six more passes on your new manuscript. Sorry to leave it on your machine, but I knew you'd want to know ASAP. We're still up to two last publishers. All we need is one. Job, blow job, sex. What's your name? Veronica. Hi, Veronica. I'm Michael. Hello, Michael. So, what do you want? What do I want? Um, how much for a hand job? Three hundred. Because I have a, a cool leather jacket, you're gonna charge me 300 bucks for a hand job? Actually, you have a button missing. It was a discount. Look, he's got the class. He thinks he's got the class. He's American. Have you seen his sapé? It's a classic. Look, he's sapé like a clown. Hey, I was only kidding. Come on, 250 <laughs> because of your cool sneakers. <laughs> You can ask for mercy, and if I feel like giving it, you may get some, but you need to trust that I know better than you what you need.
Hello? Michael Shiver? Speaking. I'm Sherry Ann with Card Services. I'm calling about your past due account with us. How much do I owe you? Well, you have three accounts with us for a total of $427,654.89. They all are 90 days late. Can you make a payment now? I'm sorry. I just really can't. I'm just in a, in a very bad way financially right now. Oh, I understand. Well, you know, I could enroll you in the payment protection plan, and then you wouldn't have to pay anything for three months. Would that help? Yeah, that would be amazing if you could do that. I'd really appreciate that. Let's just see. Let me do that for you right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your kindness. No, it is my pleasure. All right. You're all set. You take care okay, now. Thank you. You, you. Have a nice night. Bye. Bye. You still say you don't come to yoga to pick up girls? Crying though, even? The voice of Satan is unmistakable, even with a French accent. It's so weird to see a guy cry in public. You know, with women, it's familiar, almost expected. You see a woman cry in yoga, you want to give her a handkerchief. You see a guy cry in yoga, you want to call the police. I'm crying on the floor of a foreign country, and you're saying it's an act to pick up chicks? Does your evil know no bounds? I'm sorry. I was just trying to lighten up whatever was making you sad. I guess it wasn't the right angle to take. I apologize. Okay. Um. You still have two arms to ask me out on a date again. No, I'm done with all that. Why? Because I'm decrepit and my life's over. Come on, just one more try. No, if we're going out, you're doing the asking. Fuck you. Yes. So why were you crying in yoga? Oh, God, dear sweet Jesus. Why was I crying in yoga? I see. I see. You know when you're feeling really, really down, and just some random person from like the oddest place is kind to you, and you, and you just, just lose it? That's what happened. This, this uh, like bill collector lady from the Midwest was kind to me. I'm sorry, was that too uh, touchy-feely or something? No, 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 no. You asked. No, I'm glad you told me. You know, it's, it's good for me to practice being a girl sometimes, you know? Like sharing emotional things and listening and being sympathetic and all. Is that hard for you? That was enough practicing for one night. Oh, come on. Man up. <laughs> okay, just one more question and that's it. Okay. What are the top five deal breakers? For the guys that you, you know, non-date, date. You need to be funny. Okay. Smart. Yeah. Not a drug addict or alcoholic or... Yeah. Mm, a big heart. And not judgmental. Like Republican judgmental? No, like doesn't even judge Republicans, not judgmental. Okay. Buddha, right? But I don't, I don't go out with too many men. Really? Mm -mm. Why not? I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm more like a guy. You know, I want sex, I have it, and I need a friend. It's different. Do you not want love in your life? Okay, that was enough questions for me. Come on. <laughs> no, not you. You're a girl. I'm a little afraid to ask, but, you know. Why? She needs to be funny. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smart, witty, like from New York. She needs to not be a prude. Really? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I don't think you're a freak or anything, but certainly not missionary with the lights off. Not only does it have to be missionary with the lights off, but I like to have pretty much no human contact whatsoever. So I find if you cut a hole in the sheets like the Quakers do or whatever, you can almost do it without, without any feeling or touching at all. Great. Yeah, it's really good. Perfect. And... No cats. Okay. No looking at me and smiling lovingly while I'm eating. What? You can't look at me and smile lovingly at me when I'm eating. And, and no touching my leg with your foot or anything while I'm eating. Can I, can I look at you and smile lovingly when you're not eating? Yeah. And touch your leg with my feet? Yeah, I would like that. You're kind of nuts, aren't you? Okay. I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. Okay, so you need to listen really, really carefully. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm the most sane man that you now know or will ever meet in your entire life. Okay. Now I realize that the simple fact that I would even say something like that to you, in your mind, not only doesn't quash, but in fact amplifies your hypothesis that I am indeed crazy, but it does not. Okay, because underneath all of the you can't look at me and smile lovingly while I eat, blah, 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 is the most honest, grounded person that you will ever know. You did not just do that. I thought so. <laughs> I love the cold. Do you love the cold? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's that. It's my favorite thing in the world. Have you ever been up here? No. Should we go up it now? No. Go home now. Come on, really? No, it's light. Get farther away. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. I can't see. Why don't you wear your glasses? I don't need glasses. Back up a step. Can you see me now? Perfect. No? You have really pretty eyes. Thanks. How about now? I have absolutely no idea who you are. But in the dictionary under smitten, it should be how you smell. Yeah, you must really like me if you're not gonna kiss me on the first day. Correct. If we'd hated each other, we could have fucked in the bathroom at the restaurant. You really are like a boy. I do. You want to go out tomorrow night? Yeah. Good. If you don't suddenly become not you, I'm going to be in love with you by Christmas. You know, just for a timeline. You better go now, or I'm going to have a hard time remaining a gentleman. I'm sorry. I can't understand. You know, my English words are not that good. Anyone who knows the word shucks has good enough English words to understand what I'm talking about. Scram. Scram. Now that's the word I Comment tu vas aujourd'hui T'as mal C'est quoi que tu regardes toujours par la fenêtre Tu 
J'ai rencontré un mec. Je suis pas sûre qu'il me plaise encore. Il embrasse bien Je sais pas, on s'est pas encore embrassé. Il est gay <rire> Non. Alors pourquoi il t'a pas encore embrassé Parce que je le plais. Si tu me plaisais, je t'embrasserais. Ouais, ça paraît simple, hein, comme ça. J'aime mieux que tu m'apportes un smoking pour aller avec le chapeau claque que tes énigmes à la con. Même si c'est débile, au moins ça a un sens. T'aimes bien les trucs anciens Il n'y a pas beaucoup de filles de tournage qui savent qui c'est Fred Astaire. Je me suis trompée d'époque. Quand j'étais jeune, je séchais l'école et je me glissais dans les salles de cinéma. Quand tu étais jeune. Les vieux films. J'aime la manière dont on vit danse. Ils étaient si élégants, si gracieux, tellement amoureux l'un de l'autre. Il n'y a pas besoin de se le dire. Ça se voyait à la manière dont ils s'enlaçaient, dont ils bougeaient. Aujourd'hui, les gens ne font que parler, parler. Un million de mots qui ne veut rien dire. Une danse disait tout ce qui comptait. Moi, je crois qu'au fond de toi-même, t'aimerais bien danser en smoking et en chapeau claque. Je crois qu'au fond de toi-même, t'aimerais bien que ce garçon t'embrasse. You're in Paris now. Everything is fashion. Yeah, you think? Even the hooker is shaming for your outfit here. <laughs> and. The final touch. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow. You will woo her for sure. You're coming over for Christmas, yes? Yeah. And bring the girl. We're dying to meet her. Listen, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, madame, madame, vous avez perdu votre bague. Regardez. Non, pas moi. Ah, mais si, je vous assure, elle vient oui, de tomber oui. là. Ah bon Si, si. Non, 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 give that back, give that money back. De quoi je me mêle No, no, take this, Mais take this back. De quoi je me mêle Don't do this to de people. De quoi je me mêle No, no, de no, no she does this all the time. Oh, thank you, thank you. She, it's a con, don't worry. <laughs> don't do that to people. Fais attention, fais attention. Go. Je t'ai à l'œil. Go. Bonjour, bonjour. I'm so sorry I'm late. I was saving these old people from getting swindled by gypsies. Palm reading? No, no, she pretends to find this ring at your feet. Oh, uh, the last string. What, you know about that? Mm -hmm. She did the exact same thing to me three nights ago. You didn't give her money. Oh. What, it was my first night in Paris, okay? My street skills were a little jet lagged or whatever. I'm, I'm in romantic Paris on this magical bridge and this sweet little lady gives me this like graced ring that God laid at my feet for my bride to be, okay? <laughs> I fucking gave her some money. No, but listen, it's not funny. So after I saved the people and told the lady to fuck off and never do that anymore, mm -hmm. she started screaming at me and doing this weird like tch, tch, at me. And then she told me she was watching me. So you don't think like that she's gonna get like the gypsy men to come stab me in the ass or something like when I'm walking down no. the street. But she said she was watching me, like she knows where I live. She spoke in English? No. Then how? She did this thing with her, with her thing, like this. She went like, I'm watching you. I well, know that, where you live. That doesn't mean she's watching you. That means she puts a curse on you. Are you sure? Yeah, the homeless. That's just a curse. That doesn't mean that some gypsy clan's gonna come get me when I'm not watching? Just a curse. Oh, well, fine. I can give a shit about a curse. I have like a curse smurse. I eat curses for breakfast. So long <laughs> she's not gonna come cut my throat in the night, I can... But you need to stop pantomiming at French women. You see, you keep getting in trouble. What are you talking about? She pantomimed me. Yeah, sure. What? What? What, what French women am I, have I been pantomiming? Me? The first time we met at the orange store? What did I pantomime you? You asked if I was strict with my boyfriends like I am with my dog, and you went, you, you thought I didn't understand, so you went, you went like this. 
As if that's the universal science for being strict with one's lover. Okay, well, if you hadn't, have, you know, pretended not to speak English and just been out to mock and ridicule innocent gentleman suitors, oh, I would have had innocent. to pantomime. Yeah, I'm an innocent gentleman suitor. <laughs> you did look like a gentleman today. To have a hot date. I did have one, and then I canceled it about fucking ten seconds ago. <laughs> now you look nice. Thank you. The suit suits you. Thank you. Can you say that? Yeah. The suit suits you? Yeah, the suit suits you. No, but what would you say? Well, normally you would say something like, you know, you look in the suit, or you wear that suit well. But not the suit suits you. No, I, I like the suit suits you. I think you should stick with that. No, I don't want to say it. Don't make me stupid. What? Sophie? What? Come on, you're not really mad. Yes, I'm mad. I don't like that. Don't play games with me like that. I'm, I'm not some French doll for you to play with. It's not correct to say it this way, and I don't want to sound like an idiot. I'm, I'm sorry, Sophie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it was sweet how you said it. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. So, I thought we, we could get a bunch of stuff from the market and go to my place. That sounds perfect. Oh God, it's like clothes except for the cheese. <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> Lady is still here, thank you. I love cheese. You like cheese? Let's just have a, we'll just have a cheese dinner. Who gives a shit about all this other? We'll just have a, a only cheese, and then we'll rate it. I'm really excited about our cheese contest, I gotta tell you. Are you excited about it? Yeah, I'm excited. So what do you do for work? I, I take care of people who are dying. God, that's intense. You taking care of anyone now? A little girl. Really? Yeah, it's the it's the first time it happens like that. Usually, it's uh, old people who have lived a nice long life, you know. So somehow it's it's a bit more manageable for me. How old is she? Thirteen. She has leukemia. Is there any chance she can get better? No, she'll die soon. How long does she have to live? It's hard to say. She might be waiting for Christmas since she's a kid. Or to say goodbye to her family. Or both. God, that's so awful. Yeah. She reminds me of me when I was her age. Really? How so? I don't know, she just does. So what do you do? Nothing nearly that important. Oh, come on, everything's important. Without a plumber, where would we go to the bathroom? <laughs> Good call. <clears throat> I write books. Really? Yeah. What books? Uh, the first one was called The Blameless, which came out in 1986, before you were born. I was born in 85, thank you. <laughs> Is it weird at all for you to go out with somebody 15 years older than you? No. Because of your French? No, because father issues. <laughs> oh. oh, so that's exactly like America. <laughs> Perfect, well, it's comforting now. Do you usually date women my age? Uh, no. Usually a little older. Then it's weird for you? No. No, as long as you can name three Beatle albums, know what an album is, and are a good kisser, then I think we have an excellent shot at Happily Ever After. And I still can't look at you and smile and touch no, no, your no, leg no, while no, you no, eat no, blah, no, blah, blah, no, no. blah. That's universal. You can never do that. All right. <laughs> okay. Go. Come on. Abbey Road, Revolver, and the White Album, which is a big round vinyl thing, which comes in a big flat square box with a pretty picture in it, or it can just be white. Very good. And yeah. at this rate, the kissing you'll probably never <laughs> find out about. Oh. <laughs> oh, you see that building? It used to be an old movie theater that only showed old American films. Really? You know, like the, the Charlton Heston movies. Charlton Heston movies? Yeah, the, um, child, the you know, the Charlton Heston. 
Well, Charlton Heston was this extremely kind of tough, macho, leading man actor. I mean, he played Moses in the Ten Commandments. He put like part of the Red Sea. I, I, I don't think he he'd really dance like that in movies. I, I could be wrong, but you sure it was. Okay, so what were the um, what was the dance in the 30s? You know, the what was it? The Charlton Heston. Oh, oh do, you, do you mean the Charleston? Yeah, right. The Charlies. Okay, so that's a movie theater that shows movies where they dance the Charleston, not Charlton Heston movies. What? I told you not to do that. What? To make me look stupid. Oh, come on. You made a joke about the Charlton Heston Charleston. You, you can't get mad at me for that. I didn't make a joke. I make a mistake. You laugh once, you don't have to keep talking about it all the time. Okay, I'm sorry. Come I on. want you to go now. Come on. Don't ever touch me like that. Where's the cheese? It's time to write them. You go first. Okay. So how do you want to do this? What do you mean? Well, are we going to rate these cheeses against all food? I mean, all cheese is better than Brussels sprouts, so do we need a different scale or...? No. No, we'll, we'll rate them against all foods. And, and we'll go like this. Like, okay, so if dog shit was one and chocolate cake was ten, rate these cheeses. What's worse than dog shit? <laughs> Nothing. That's why it's one. It's the lowest. Zero is the lowest. <laughs> That's right. In France, the ground floor is zero. It's not one. Because what? In the States, it's... It's one. The ground floor is one. Everything has to be more in the States. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> okay. okay. So, dog shit is zero. Chocolate cake is 10. Rate these cheeses. Now that won't work. Why won't that work? Because if we're going to include all food, we're going to need more numbers. Like up to 100. Okay, okay, great. Dog shit is zero. Chocolate cake is 100. Rate these cheeses. Now that's still too confusing. I'm Why? Right. It is. What is confusing about it? Oh my God! Let's just say that cheese in general is like 90. Okay, I would say... Yeah, like 92, whatever. Okay. And now let's rate these cheeses from 0 to 10, 10 being our favorite, and 0 our least favorite. Perfect. First, I just need to fuck you again real quick, and then we can do that, okay? Because you look really pretty right now. No, not now. Come on. Not now. No, I'm not in the mood right now. Come on. Cool. All right, sir. All right. <clears throat> All right, go ahead. Okay, rate them. 0 to 100. 0 to 10. Oh, that's boring. Come on. Come on. Okay, I have to go to work now anyway. But you go to the hospital this late? Yeah, sometimes she can't sleep at night, so I, I sit with her. Come on, I'm late. Really? Does she ever have any... I mean, do you ever, like, bring anybody else to visit her besides you? No, it might upset her. Mm. You have to go now. I'm in a hurry. Mm. Come on. Okay. <sighs> well, I had a, an amazing time. Me too. Um, I guess I'll, I'll call you later. It's, it's not this story, it's, it's this way. 
No, work isn't too hard. Good night. Posez lequel ton préféré alors mmh, Angolia. Ah ouais Ouais. Moi aussi. Et euh, le camembert juste après. Et après. Euh, tu l'as mmh, Non, moi je préfère celui-là en troisième position quand même. Ok. Mmh. Bon, sinon il m'embrasse bien. Hein. Bah bon. Mmh. Ah. Vraiment bien. <rire> Tu as décidé s'il te plaisait Il n'y a pas beaucoup de gens qui me plaisent. Moi, je t'appelais Mais toi, tu m'as plu la première fois que je t'ai vu. Moi, moi aussi. Bon, faut lui laisser une chance. C'est rare, les mecs qui embrassent vraiment bien. Bon, j'ai jamais essayé, mais... Toi, t'as jamais essayé T'as jamais embrassé quelqu'un Non. Mmh. Bah, comment ça se fait T'es super joli. On va dire que les gens que j'aurais voulu embrasser n'auraient pas voulu. Oui. Je crois que tu sais un goût de merde. <rire> Quoi, vraiment, t'en déconne. <rire> Le merde de chien, je te vois. <rire> bon, je vais le rencontrer, moi. C'est possible Ouais. Je le ramène la prochaine fois. Ok, je le ramène. Bon, t'as fini Presque. Non, t'as fini. Non. Allez, au lit. a hard time getting close to people to people i don't know to boys that you like who like you do you believe in heaven okay end of that conversation no come on it's boring he's very sweet and it actually strangely makes sense but and you're very smart you're not dumb you're not an idiot there's no one that's okay the okay don't worry I, i won't freak out what well you use boring when you don't really mean to use that word. Really? Yeah, like when we were gonna have the cheese contest and you really wanted to and then suddenly you didn't want to, you said it was boring. And then just now when I asked you a personal question, okay, you were like, okay. boring. So what should I say? What would you say? Well, hopefully you would just answer my question. But if you didn't want to answer the question, you would say something like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Do you believe in heaven? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, don't be a baby. Living right there, forever. We'd be ancient, like 120 years old. And I'd be sitting under this willow tree watching the tourist boats go by. Mm -hmm. And you would yell over, honey. Come home for lunch, I made Vichyssoise. <laughs> that would be heaven to me. Do you know this soup? Vichyssoise? Of course. Say it again. Vichyssoise. Your French is getting very good. Merci. I make a very good Vichyssoise. You don't have to be so hot and cold. I won't hurt you. You don't have to be so impatient. You don't have to be so slow. You don't have to be so loud. You don't have to be so truculent. You don't have to pretend to be so superior using words you know I don't know. You look victorious, that concerns me. 
Can you shut up and kiss me already? Wait. French, kiss me. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Yeah, no, no. I hate it. I want to be able to see your... My breast, yeah? No, your face. Mm. Well, and your breast, too. You know, everything. A man fucking you. A man fucking me? Mm. Okay, we're playing the game now. <laughs> um, I've never done it. Have you ever thought about it? No. I mean, I've had occasional weird sex dreams about it, and... Um, you know, I've dabbled with girls pretending, but that's it. Pretending what? Pretending to be a man fucking me, like, you know. Really? Yeah. Long time ago with my, with my last girlfriend. So, you're not into BDSM now? No. I, I wasn't into it then. It was just, you know, occasional, normal playing around. Oh. Oh, getting fucked with a strap on is occasional normal playing around in America? No, it's probably not normal, but it's more normal than is admitted, I'll tell you that. So why haven't you tried it with a guy? Because I'm not into men like that. You know, I mean, everything that I love about a woman, your hands and feet and the softness of your skin, kissing, that all disgusts me to men. I would... The men thing, it's more, it was more psychological. It's more the taboo. It's the being, you know, dominated, punished. It's... I mean, having said that, you know, at this point in my life, I, I probably would have tried it once if I weren't terrified of HIV. What, you have safe sex? No, forget about it. You, I could wear three fucking rubbers. Rubbers break. It, it's, it's way too risky. It's just, I, I, would never, I would never do it. You don't think you're using that as an excuse? Because I'm afraid to admit that I'm gay? Okay, I would love to skydive, but I'm shit scared to jump out of a plane and heights, so I'll never do that. That doesn't make me someone who's afraid to admit that I'm a closet skydiver. But you don't jerk off thinking about skydiving. <laughs> I don't jerk off thinking about fucking guys either. So when your girlfriend was fucking you in the ass, you weren't turned on? Okay, you're getting off track. <laughs> In this game, you just ask questions that can be answered with hate, love, or like. Well, I like this new game better. Okay, good. Well, you can play it later after I leave. <laughs> so, um, how about any um, BDSM for you? Hate. Really? Yeah, maybe I'm traditional, but I think it's weird. So, do you think I'm weird for having experimented with it and... No, you've tried it in your past, you said, and... And now you, you're not interested in it anymore, so that's fine. Yeah, but do you think that... I just think that men should be real men. Really? So, do real men only have vanilla sex? No. No. Can real men fantasize about less than traditional sexual behaviors? Yes. As long as they don't fantasize about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how many times can a man fantasize about non-traditional sexual behaviors until they're not a real man? Like five times or 12 times or? I can't trust a guy who fantasizes about things I can't give him. You know, fantasizing about women, okay, I get it. But if a guy fantasizes about having a dick in his ass, fake or not, I'm gonna think he's gonna wanna do it, eventually. You know, it, it feels like he's lying to himself. So it's fine for whoever, not my boyfriend. Look, I, I just, I just think that mixing psychology and sex 
is perverse. You know, sort this thing out with your shrink. <laughs> Not in the bedroom. Okay, listen, I just want to ask you something for real, though. Mm -mm. All, all joking aside. No, okay. no more talking now. No, come on, it's important. Mm. It's important. Just one last thing. Mm -hmm. Do you not like going down on a man? If I like the guy, sure I do. Do you like me? I like you. Because I, I feel like you're turned on when we have sex, like you enjoy our sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But you haven't even touched my dick once. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. I mean, forget going down on me. You haven't even, you haven't even touched it. And so it just made me wonder, like, do you not like doing that on any man? Or is it just specifically me? Or that you don't, my body disgusts you? It sort of makes me feel like, I don't know, is, do you not like my body? Or Let me, let me put it this way. If you were 10 pounds thinner, I would have blown you by now. Michael. 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 I didn't mean it like that. That was the meanest thing that anyone has ever said to me. It didn't come out right. How was it supposed to come out? I read your book. I, uh, I went and got it and read it. It's beautiful. You're so good at revealing yourself. Most of us are not like that. We have secrets. Things we're ashamed of. Scared to, scared to admit to ourselves, let alone someone else. You have no fear. You accept who you are and, I don't know, you, you even rejoice in it. I have many flaws. Let me finish. That scares most people about you. I told you that I will never hurt you. You don't know that. You might. But what I, what I loved about your book is that even though she leaves you in the end and, and you're heartbroken, You're here, and that's very brave. And I want to be that brave. I've never let myself love anyone before. Never. Never? Never in your entire life? But I, I, I want to try with you.
Can I ask you a question? If I was to give you the best blowjob you've ever had in your entire life right now, would you think I was doing it to make you feel better? Or because I really want to? And either way, would you care? Honestly, at this point, either way, I wouldn't care. But just for the record, I really want to. C'est moi qui m'occupe d'Anaïs Bourgeron. Oui, je sais. Voilà, J'aurais bien aimé contacter ses parents. Parce que je sais qu'ils n'arrivent pas bien à gérer sa maladie, mais... Euh... mais je crois qu'elle n'en a plus pour longtemps. Et, euh... Et je, je pense qu'ils vont le regretter s'ils lui disent pas au revoir. Elle veut indiquer qu'elle vivait chez ses parents. Oui. C'est un enfant grand. Elle vivait dans les rues euh, depuis l'âge de 5 ans. Aucun parent vient le voir, c'est pour ça que vous êtes ici. Excuse-moi, je dois y aller. Non, non, elle s'appelle Anaïs Bourgeron, c'est pas du tout un nom rhum, ça. C'est le nom qu'elle nous a donné. Pas de papier, euh, même pas une carte d'identité. Ben, J'imagine elle a donné le nom qu'elle voulait. Everything cool? Is it still okay that I come in with you? I know you have to come. She requested an audience with you. She did? Mm-hmm. Come on. Hello. Anaïs. Michael. Bonjour. I'm sorry, that's the only French I know. <laughs> that's okay, we can speak English. <clears throat> Anaïs, that's a, that's a really pretty name. Is it after Anaïs Nin? She's my favorite writer. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's a cool top hat. Where'd Thank you get that? She gave it to me. She did? And um, why they kind of took Seda to go with it? So I can have a proper dance. Really? Have you uh, got in touch with Santa? Cool. Because he's like making some rounds tomorrow. Maybe <laughs> you could bring one by. No! You want to kill me off before I get my dance? It's very bad luck to put a hat on a bed. In France? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. We don't have anything like that in America. You can put hats anywhere. Oh God, I'm, I'm so sorry, forgive me. It's okay. Il me plaît. Il te plaît, toi aussi. Okay, that's enough of your secret girl talk, please. Speak in American. Let's talk to me, to me. I know French. Très bien. I know French. Très bien. Monsieur Français. It's unspeakably heartbreaking sometimes, this life. But unspeakably magnificent sometimes, too. I'll call you later. What are you talking about? Well, I just assumed you'd want some space. I don't want space. I want to go fast now. I don't want to waste time anymore. Hmm. Does it want to dance? <laughs> What are you most afraid of? That because the last thing on the face of the earth that I want to do is tweet or 
update my Facebook status that the soul of youth will vomit me into the cesspool of the old and the worthless. Come on, seriously. Seriously. You want me to be honest? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm afraid that because it's been so long since I've been in love, that I'll be so excited, I won't see that I've fallen in love with someone who might betray me. Betray you how? Fuck around on me. Cheat on me. I couldn't handle that. Freud said our fears are our wishes, so maybe you'll be the one who will be the betrayer. No. I don't lie. I told you that. Anything else? Not off the top of my head. What are you most afraid of? You'll see. Bonjour. Je peux vous aider. Je suis Sophie. Tu te rappelles? Désolée, je me souviens pas de toi, mon petit. On, on peut entrer boire un thé? C'est mon ami, Michael. Ah. Oui, bien sûr. Entrez donc. Merci. Bonjour. Comment on se connaît Je t'ai apporté ces fleurs la semaine dernière. Ah non, Monsieur Leclerc me les a apportées hier avec la terrine de foie. Non, c'est moi qui te les ai apportées. Comme toutes les semaines. Tiens, je t'en ai apporté des nouvelles. Elles sont belles, non Très belles. Are you staying the night? Uh, we'd love to. Thank you. Okay. Is she okay? Since I was 13. That's when my dad gave her the worst beating. She's been like that ever since. Did he ever hit you? No. He adored me. <laughs> One day you're daddy's little girl and... And the next day you never hear from the guy for the rest of your life. She spent six months in the hospital. I stayed with my aunt. And I tried to live with her when she came out, but um, she didn't know who I was. So she was scared to have me in the house with her. Has she ever known who you are since that happened? No. If she does, she doesn't admit it to herself. I think it would bring her whole life back. Huh? So I come here every week and every week it's the same dance. Where do I know you from? Mm. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You know, I still have her in a way. Most people, you know, many people don't have their mothers. So I'm grateful. Do you think people find each other? Like, water seeks its own level? Do you have that saying in French? No. Do you think that broken people find other people who they think are going to help give them what they don't have, and they in turn can give the other person what they think they need? kind of 
help mend each other, or in a bad case, misguidedly punish the other person. Are you broken? Do you think I'm broken? I think everyone's broken. I think you find what you find, you know? And you do what you do, and they do what they do. I don't believe that people, you know, really change that much. Really change over the course of your lifetime. So you just think it's all random here on Earth, people meeting each other? Why wouldn't God have a hand in that equation? I imagine he has better things to do than matchmake. Like what? I don't know. I'll have my mother ask him and get back to you. I have a present for you. You do? Not your proper Christmas present, you'll get that tomorrow. Okay. Hold out your hand. Uh. Don't worry, I'm not gonna propose. Yeah. <laughs> It's um, it's kind of an ugly ring, <laughs> <laughs> but it's very special. No, I love it. You like it? Hmm. You said you'd be in love with me by Christmas. Was it true? What do you think? I think you are. This might be too. Wait. What? Where did you get the ring? It's not from the from the gypsy lady, is it? Yeah, she told me I was gonna meet a girl to give it to and I did. It's grace. No, it's cursed. She cursed you, so the ring is cursed. <laughs> oh, come on. The ring's not cursed. And if curses exist, that means God does too, and God beats curses every time. Don't worry. Wait. What? <laughs> you don't want to know if I if I love you too. Fuck! I hate this. What? I can't I can't see you. It's so fucking annoying. Usually you see me when I'm that far. I know, but it's night. At night it gets worse. It gets worse at night. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Did you want to know? I already know. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think you're in love with me. Really? But I don't want to have my eyes closed when you say it for the first time. <laughs> okay, open them. It's a no. That's really mean. <laughs> it's not true. Wow. <laughs> Do it him. Do it him a lot. Can I say that? Do it him a lot. I'm not touching that one.
Merci pour tout. Joyeux Noël Joyeux Noël, Sophie. Merry Christmas. Come visit any time. Au revoir. Au revoir. He reminds me of François. Who? Your first boyfriend. You were only seven years old. You brought a boy home after school one day and declared that you were going to marry him because he was your boyfriend. I, I don't remember that, Mom. I do. As clear as day. Michael is like Francois all grown up. They have the same kind eyes. And I can still see the little boy in me. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Didn't you tell me I was your only boyfriend? Well, not counting Francois, of course. Oh, Francois. And there was, who else? Probably Billy and fucking Frederic and... I'm <laughs> just Francois. <wasn't. laughs> Thanks a lot for bringing me to meet your mom. It really meant a lot to me. Thanks for coming. So what, you're gonna go to your friend's house now for Christmas? Yeah. Didn't really like to meet you. And I'd love it if you came. You sure you don't want to? I'm sorry. You understand, right? Yeah, of course. But I'd, I'd like to meet you afterwards, if you want. I don't really like that. Hey, Josh, it's Michael. Hey. Sorry to call you on Christmas, but I know you're a Jew. Yeah, PlayStation with the kids and then Chinese food. Sorry I didn't call you before the holiday. I didn't want to bum you out, honestly, right before Christmas. Not good news, man. Everyone has passed. Everyone, absolutely everyone. There's not one publisher that didn't pass on my book. No, nah, man, I'm sorry. Hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Hello, Michael. Can you do a session now? It's Christmas uh, with my family. Yeah, I realize. I'll pay you triple. Can you just leave for an hour? 
I really can't. I have a friend who I think you would enjoy immensely. She might do a session today. Shall I call her for you? Is she mean? Almost as mean as me. Trust me, she won't disappoint you. Call her. Mistress Natalie tell you what I like? Just be really mean to me. Really mean. Okay, verbally, physically. You can slap me in the face really hard. You can punch me in the face. Uh, but don't draw blood, so don't punch me anywhere where I would bleed. Um, like my nose or my mouth. Don't leave any marks in my face. Smother me choke me, you can uh, use a plastic bag uh, on me, put me in a sleeper hold, but uh, not till I pass out, so right before I lose consciousness, like, make sure I, you let go, say I'm a pathetic loser that no girl will ever love and I'll never get a girlfriend, I'm probably just some little loser faggot that wants to get raped, and then you can rape me, just tell me I deserve to die. And then if I wasn't so pathetic, you would kill me. Hey, I'm so sorry I'm late, but Santa and I had some last minute arrangements preparing your present, which you're gonna get later. I don't want to see you anymore. What are you talking about? It's over. It's not over. What, what's over? What are you... Sophie, what's going on? It'll never work out between us. And I don't want to waste my time anymore. Sophie, come on. Don't do this. Not tonight. It's Christmas. Come on. You start to like me a lot and then you freak out. But it's, you don't have to do it, okay? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. It's because I like you a lot that I'm running away. I lied. I don't love you. I don't care for you. I don't even really like you. You were like a distraction to me. So please don't ever try to contact me. Oh, you have trouble you can't imagine. So. What were you doing tonight before you met me? I was at Charles and Caroline's for Christmas, you know that. You were at Charles and Caroline's? Yeah, why? All night. You never left. No. Why, do you not believe me? Of course I believe you. You never lie, do you? Your turn. My turn for what? You get to ask me what I was doing tonight before I met you. I don't want to play this game. Oh, come on. You love games. Ask me what I was doing tonight before I met you. No. Ask me. I don't want to. Ask me. What were you doing tonight before you met me? I was fucking another man. 
We made love all night. He made me come over and over. And he's not insecure and needy like you are, you know? He didn't whine about how I never touch his dick. He did whatever he wanted. Just took my face in his hands and made me suck his cock. It was so nice. He came so hard. I still have it on my breath. Can you smell it? Does it smell like smitten? Kiss me. Kiss me and taste another man's cum in your girlfriend's mouth. Oh, come on, have some. Now, do you believe me? The girl you sent me wasn't mean at all. She wasn't? That's strange. Usually she's as much as people can handle. No. She just sat there and then after I told her what I wanted, she just got up and left. Oh, that's odd. Cette fille va bientôt mourir. La fenêtre de sa chambre, c'est la... celle qui est au deuxième étage de l'hôpital, juste là. C'est parce qu'elle t'a rapporté pas assez d'argent que tu l'as abandonnée Tu te rappelles de ta grande soeur Elle est très malade. Elle est à l'hôpital juste derrière moi. Ça te ferait plaisir d'aller la voir. Elle, je sais que ça lui ferait du bien. Bon, regarde, il y a 5 euros qui sont tombés du ciel là. Ouais. Toi, tu me juges Tu plaisantes Tu peux pas passer ta vie entière à demander pardon au bon Dieu pour tous les péchés que tu as commis Jamais, jamais tirer au paradis. Tu me connais Tu sais ce que j'ai vécu, tu sais ce que j'ai vu. Tu sais les choix que j'ai faits, pourquoi je les ai faits. Mais il n'y a pas de raison pour que Dieu accepte que, que ta fille, elle soit en train de mourir toute seule dans une chambre d'hôpital le soir de Noël sans, sans sa mère avec elle. Tu vas faire quoi Tu vas me maudire là Pas besoin, tu es déjà maudite. N'importe qui le voit. Vous avez perdu votre bague. Elle est très belle. Hein Allô Vous êtes arrivé bientôt Allez, excusez-moi. Je crois qu'elle m'en a plus Non, je suis juste de l'autre côté de la rue, là, j'arrive tout de suite. Michael.
changer dans la salle de bain. Dansez très bien, monsieur. On vous voit ici, madame. Blues as if on cue. What am I to do with this old heart? Running through this walk of life. Who knows where it'll end? Hoping that somewhere along the way I'll have a friend, one who really knows. Tu m'as vraiment aidé à me sentir mieux face à la mort. Merci. On this lonely road that's never ending. Je crois que j'ai attendu. I hope someday I will find her. And love will last forever, and it will feel like it's always to make it quite a fast break. To make it, to try to feel a little bit. Vous avez la même vision que je montre. Si j'avais rencontré quelqu'un comme ça avant, j'aurais déjà eu beaucoup plus de baisers. Sophie. Hello? Hello? Come in. Sit down. To be very careful of what you ask me to do to you, because I will do it. So I'm going to ask you again. What do you want me to do to you? I want you to kill me. Why 
why don't I play with you for a while? And then we'll see if that's still what you want. appelé pour dire que tu sais pas trop de méchant. Ça te ressemble pas, non Puis où je peux le trouver Je l'ai envoyé chez une autre de Milatrice. Chez qui Pourquoi il y a un problème Chez qui tu l'as envoyé to say something to you? No. Is there any person you want to say something to? No, no. Just do it. Just do it. Please. something that I would tell you one day that I thought when I first saw you. It was the clearest moment I've ever had in my entire life. You were picking oranges from the crate and I thought to myself, that's the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And that was the truth. I love you, Sophie. And I know you love me too. You're just too scared right now, but I know that won't last forever. And one day, you will let yourself love me. I will miss you so much until that day. But I'll take solace in knowing that when it comes, even if it's when we're 120, I'll see you again under the willow tree. And that will be the happiest day of my eternal life. Until then, au revoir. Michael.
down I felt impressed What is worth Time.